So the, the commune elections in Cambodia are elections at the sub-national level, electing members of the National Assembly who represent different districts, different areas, subparts of, of the country by province. It happens all at once, and the commune councillors are from different political parties, typically, and it's never been a very competitive affair because at the rural level in Cambodia, the ruling party controls a lot of what goes on, and so it's never much of a surprise when almost 90 plus percent of the votes collected are actually for the ruling party. Well, there's been a bit of definitely some intimidation against the uh, Candlelight Party, which I guess is the closest thing to what had been the Cambodian National Rescue Party, the main opposition party after it was banned. So that this is the remnant of that that hasn't been banned yet, I guess. But it's an indication, I think, of how concerned the authorities, certainly the ruling party, is the brand of the Candlelight Party as a possible heir and uh, vote getter in this uh, commune election. But there's never been anywhere near the stakes at the commune level that there have always been at the national level, where the ruling party was at risk at one point uh, of losing and therefore reacted in a way where it banned the opposition completely. When you are dealing with a political system that does not allow the main opposition to operate, that's never a good image. Are you afraid that your opponent might actually win? Managed democracy might be the idea here, but it's, it's, uh, it's really looking increasingly like managed dictatorship if, if one isn't careful enough.